Hello, welcome to another Etsy tutorial on the Esatino Artist channel. My name is Orit, and in this video, we're going to look at how to specify on Etsy which countries you want to ship to. Now, this question came in to me from Angela, so shout out to Angela for asking this question because I think it's something that other other Etsy sellers are wondering about, you know, if you have a, a store that ships from Canada, let's say, and it's way too expensive for you to ship to international internationally or anything like that, then the question is, can you only ship to Canada and not offer your product internationally? And you absolutely can. I'm going to show you how to create a profile, a shipping profile that will allow you to only serve customers in your country. So let's get started. I'm in my Etsy shop manager here. So when you log in, you go into your Etsy shop manager and you want to go to the shipping settings part of your store. And you can do that by going to settings over here and then, whoops, settings and then shipping settings. So once you click on that, you'll come to this page right, like you see in front of you here. You might see something different over here. Um, but what we want to go to is shipping profiles. Now, uh, shipping profiles is just a term that Etsy uses for how you can offer different methods, different rates, etc., of shipping to your customers. And there's two ways to, um, to, to create shipping profiles. You either let Etsy set those shipping profiles for you, or you can create manual shipping profiles and specify exactly what carrier you use, which countries you ship to, um, the, the cost, all of that kind of stuff. If you go the Etsy shipping profiles way, then they calculate the shipping amount that they're going to charge to the customer. And then, um, and then you can just add your handling fee. So, I talk about the difference between those two things in more detail. If you're wondering, you know, how, if you want to learn more about shipping on Etsy, I did create a video on how to calculate shipping and go into more detail about the shipping profiles. So you'll see it popping somewhere up here as a card on the video, and I'll also link to it in the description below. But for the purposes of this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to specify which country you can ship to, and you can do this Either way, you can do it with the Etsy shipping method or you can do it with creating your manual shipping profile method. So under shipping profiles here, I'm going to go all the way down to the bottom. I know I have a zillion shipping pro profiles here. Um, you want to click on add a shipping profile. So over here, you'll see this is where you set um, or you tell Etsy whether you want them to calculate the shipping amount for you which in, in this case it's called calculate them for me and then um, the other method is I'll enter fixed costs manually. Either one, either method you choose and again there's pros and cons to choosing either one, either method so I recommend you checking that video out if you want to learn more um, but in both situations you can specify the country. So let's go to calculate them for me um, and so it'll ask you to you know, put in your your postal code of where you ship packages from and your processing time. So how long does it take you to ship an item? So you're going to fill all of this out. And in this section over here where it says where I'll ship, this is where you specify if you only want to ship to Canada, for example, or whatever country you're in. So you can click on edit and you can uncheck this box that says all countries. And it will automatically, I think it automatically selects your country only. So you can double check here. I'm going to go to North America. And of course, that includes a lot of other places, but it only has Canada checked, which is great. So that's what we want. Um, so that's set. And this way, you're only shipping to Canada. And so customers and buyers from Canada will be the only ones who will see your listing. So if they're in another country, they won't see those listings pop up because it's not relevant to them. They can't purchase a product that doesn't ship to them. So only Canadians will see your listings and your store. 
So shipping services here, you can go down here and um, select which shipping services you want. You can also uh, offer free shipping. And this is the part where I was mentioning uh, the handling fee. So Etsy, with this option where it says calculate them for me, Etsy will calculate the shipping amount based on the you know the dimensions of your of your item and um, where the customer is from and all of that kind of stuff but you can add a handling fee meaning like if it takes you time which it probably does take you time to like package the item and you know um, just that whole process that's what the handling fee is which you can set over here then you will name the profile you can if you only have one profile profile you can just call it shipping to Canada and then create it and that is what your Canadian customers will see only your Canadian customers will see your listings and um, and you'll only be able to ship to them the other way here is I'll enter fixed costs manually and again you're going to enter where you're shipping from processing time and then down here um, where it says standard shipping it usually will put your own country and everywhere else you can just delete this profile over here where it says everywhere else so that you're only shipping to Canada. And again, you know, you can select, it's usually Canada Post. Your mail class, you can select your mail class over here. You do want to se select one. So what is your standard shipping uh, cost? Is it the expedited parcel or regular parcel let's just say it's regular so it's more time here and then what you will charge if you're not offering free shipping within your country uh, you can select a fixed cost here and enter that in and again if you want to know how to calculate proper shipping costs so that you're not losing money you're still making profits definitely check out that video that i did if you want to offer your customers a shipping upgrade, meaning maybe it's like one hour or one day turnaround or, or a little bit more, you can select under here shipping upgrade. You click on add a shipping upgrade. Um, you can select domestic because it's still within Canada, still within the country. And then you can select from one of these. So one day, let's say, would be this priority. And then you can, um, you can add an additional cost on top of the standard shipping cost in this box over here. So meaning this price, this upgrade cost, um, will be added to the standard shipping. So it's not the total. So keep that in mind. And then once you're done, you can again just name the profile uh, for your own purposes and create it. And that way you're only shipping to Canada. You're only shipping to your country. So guys, that's it for this video. That is how you specify which countries you want to ship to from your Etsy store. I hope this has been helpful for you. If so, please let me know by giving it a thumbs up, subscribing to the channel, or commenting down below. And if you are interested in joining our Facebook group for creative business success and creative entrepreneurs, I will put a link down to that in the description below. It's absolutely free and we would love to answer your questions in that group. Thanks again for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.